It's our first date. The excitement is in the air. We're about to make lasting memories while having so much fun fair. He asked me to pick the place, but where do we go? I want it to be memorable, stand out, some place that neither of us now know. So, I'll follow the advice of the old folks in making my selection by picking the place for our last date ever and make that our first date for recollection. You see, some say if you have a first date, you need to determine if you will have a second date. Such thinking may work if you're dating for entertainment, but when for permanence, a lasting impression you need to create. For if you're serious about finding a partner, make it the last date you're looking forward to, and that's the place you should choose as your first date for the both of you. And what's the place for that last date? It's a place where things are not too hectic and you can talk. A place to get to know one another as prior memories it will activate. So, choosing around trees, flowers, animals, and other creatures of God's creation, it's a peaceful place, an environment where all is calm without any agitation. It's that place you both will promise to go back to each year despite your age. To commemorate your first date, and each date afterwards, a place where you always peacefully engage. The park, zoo, aquarium, or botanical gardens come to mind. So that take the stress out of coming up with something too complicated or different and focus on a place where together you can unwind. For God's creation is always romantic and allows the two of you to enjoy each other's presence. On that special day together each year where God's love is always omnipresent. I'm Lori Smith, the Stoicist, your Christian life coach, and I believe in you. If you like what you mentally now see, join my website to learn and think like me at stoicmatchmaker.com.